Hello everyone, hope you're well. It's been a while. Um, I wanted to share actually experience that I went through um, that would have been kind of nice to know beforehand in terms of the frequency of being a regular or regular situation and also to the fact that the reality is that PCO sufferers tend to have slightly more frequency and occurrence of something called fibrocystic breasts. So it may have been less alarming for me um, uh, in my situation. So I actually had a growth on my left breast. It was like this white little dot that kind of had some pus in it. I'm trying, sorry for the um, being so graphic, but it's just giving, I'm just giving you the facts here. And um, so it was, you know, I thought, okay, whatever, it could be an acne, because you go online and you get all this information. And finally, when I, I went to the doctor, um, it was a walk-in doctor, because my actual appointment is still not till the end of the month. Um, is she basically indicated to me that um, because I have PCOS, and it's also very normal for women to develop cysts in their breasts, but for PCOS sufferers, it's a little bit more heightened. And so she, you know, checked and she didn't feel in her, you know, according to her, about three cysts in my left breast that may have been dissolving and hence, you know, this um, uh, fluid was, you know, um, not being leaked. So in any case, um, I still have an appointment for a mammogram at some point, who knows, in a year's time. I don't know what the timeline of here is for waiting. Um, but that being said, I just wanted to alert you know, or just to, you know, make people aware that when you have PCOS, um, you have a higher chance, and according to studies, and I'm going to link that below in uh, the description section, is um, it's a heightened um, occurrence. So that's something to consider when you are looking at um, your own health and also to observing yourself and not panicking right away either, because this apparently is the nor uh, very normal occurrence and they're benign. Fibrocystic cysts are benign. Um, and there's no studies yet stating that it's anything else. However, it's always good to get checked if you're concerned and have a family medical history um, with cancer. So that's again, this is again in, uh, for information, not to alarm anyone, but to at least educate you on, because all of us have different family histories and family potential for um, genes that have, um, you know, uh, cancer or, or potential cancer and so forth. So we all are on a spectrum when it comes to the risk. So when it comes to the, you know, occurrence of cysts, like I said, it's normal, but it's heightened for women with PCOS. Just wanted to make that aware. Now, that being said, Dr. Berg, who I love, does speak about this. I started doing some research thinking, well, how do I avoid the situation? Like, how do I make sure that the cysts don't develop? Because it's a norm, first of all, across the normal, normal for normal women without the PCOS, heightened for PCOS, but what can we do? So caffeine was one thing that came up as um, a controversial or let's say unsubstantiated evidence, but my doctor indicated to me that I should reduce my caffeine levels. Uh, there's no proof uh, that that's the case, but according to what she knows and I, uh, also articles that I came across, there is, you know, it's um, not con conclusive. There's nothing saying that we should quit caffeine, but apparently a lot of some women, I shouldn't say a lot, well, some women found relief by reducing or quitting caffeine. That was one, which is a hard one because I love my coffee. The other one is um, iodine, and that's what Dr. Berg mentions, and I'm going to be linking his video that basically speaks about just not only ovarian cysts, but also fibro, uh, fibrocystic breasts. So again, iodine is a big part of it, and he explains it wonderfully as usual, um, how iodine is basically the factor in which one may be feeling some pain before the menstruation, and also to the estrogen level is going higher at a certain point, and also creating more cyst, uh, potential cysts within the system. So it's very interesting. Um, I'm linking that below. I just thought this is a very inf important information to share because it would have been nice for me to know and not feel so drastically stressed out. Um, if one already knows that there might be something going on just naturally, one and two, there may be an increase. And more importantly, most likely it's benign. That's a relief in itself. So in any case, hope all is well. Um, take care and I'll update you on the, on the situation with the mammogram whenever that happens. But I'm not actually, to be honest, not very concerned. Okay, take care and uh, hope all is well.